There can't possibly be anyone up there in the attic ahead of me, can there? I better take a look. And, oh my goodness, there is someone up here in the attic ahead of me. Hi, how are you? Sorry if I kept you waiting too long. Uh, Dr. Lady once again with you here in the Mask Fan Attic. Mask fans and edits. And tonight's mask, or today's mask, depending on what time of day you happen to be watching this broadcast. Today's mask comes from the year 1999, which is... Uh, not in the future, that's in the past, okay? Time travel was required to get this mask. Uh, 1999 was the year that everybody was excited about the new Star Wars movie, Star Wars Episode something, The Phantom Menace. Um, episode 1, it was really called, I'm kidding there. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Now, everybody thought that was going to be the biggest movie of all time, the biggest hit ever. It was very exciting. Uh, for people who were fans of sci-fi and Star Wars and so forth because there hadn't been a Star Wars movie for a long time, since 1983. So uh, there was a lot of interest in the movie, there was a lot of buzz, there was a lot of uh, licensing going on, a lot of products were made, and among those products were some Don Post Studios masks. And uh, again, everybody kind of thought it was going to be the biggest thing ever and this first Star Wars movie in all those years was going to be a huge giant monster hit uh, but then something something kind of unfortunate happened uh, somebody uh, at Uni or not Universal at 20th Century Fox someone at 20th Century Fox uh, made the mistake of actually releasing the film so then everyone found out that it wasn't really all that they were hoping for and some of the collectibles ended up being not quite as instantly desirable as everybody thought but some of the Don Post masks were pretty sweet and this this is one of my favorites not one of my favorite character pieces but one of my favorite uh, products from the period the Don Post Studios I kid you not Don Post Studios 1999 pod racer helmet POD like what what peas come in a pod yeah this is the pod racer helmet as worn by Anakin Skywalker in uh, The Phantom Menace in 1999. Now, uh, why do I like this when it's not a complete uh, alien character face or whatever? I like it because I think this is pretty amazing uh, quality. It's pretty deluxe for the, the price range. Now, you could pick this up for between $50 and $60 back in the, uh, back in the old age in 1999. You young whippersnappers, you could have got one of these for $60. In my day, we... Anyway, uh, you could get one of these for in the neighborhood of $60, and it's pretty deluxe. It's pretty elaborate. Uh, if you can see the, the way it looks like the paint is scraped off, and there's there's like a damage, there's this sort of scratch and dent look that, of course, is uh, crucial to the reality of the Star Wars universe. That isn't just because I haven't taken good care of this one. That's all carefully stenciled on each copy to look exactly like uh, the paint is the way it is, just like you see it here. Even the goggles, and look at this, they're hinged. They're hinged here and here. All right, this moves and this moves. And this seems like something that they could have cheaped out on and done it a lot less elaborately. The goggles even have uh, a dirty, smudgy, look like they've been out in the desert, like uh, this helmet and others like it appear in the context of the movie. It, you have these polyester felt blinders on the sides and those even have kind of a dirty smudgy look to them. Uh, very, very elaborate detailing. Look at this. And you get this fabric hood under here, which you can, at, when you put this on, you can fasten this under your chin and you have the little collar that hangs down and this is all very nicely sewn and stitched and hemmed very professionally. You have the bead that you can tighten the uh, cords under your neck, under your chin rather, uh, with here. You have these that which straps, the straps that go under your chin and you can buckle them with this little plastic buckle you see here. And it all really works and for $60, you know, this, this is really above and beyond the call of duty for Don Postification, I think, because this doesn't look like uh, some cheap trick-or-treat, uh, kids trick-or-treating toy, you know. This looks like a real movie prop. It's actually a prop replica, and I think a very impressive one. It's unfortunate that uh, the character of, of young little boy Anakin wasn't a better presented character or a mo more popular character because I think this thing could have been a hit but uh, B 
be that as it may, to get away from the merits of the film itself and strictly stick to the merits of the mask, or in this case helmet, hard plastic, okay? And if you look under here on the back, I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to read to you from the sacred uh, Don Post uh, pod racer helmet here. Lucasfilm 1999, a Don Post mask. Not to be used as a safety helmet, but it does say Don Post mask and Lucasfilms. So that makes it pretty collectible right there. And I think it was a great collectible anyway. Uh, for some reason, the fabric part is attached with Velcro here and here. That is at the front and the back of the headpiece. I don't know why the Velcro is involved because it's stitched to the plat right, right through the plastic toy boat. It's stitched right through the plastic on the ear pads anyway, so it's not like you could take this out easily and wash it, but uh, for some reason there's Velcro at the front and back. But anyway, you can still occasionally find these on eBay and some of the Star Wars fan sites and some of the mask uh, collecting sites. And it's probably going to go for more than 55 or 60 bucks now because uh, Don Post Studios masks have skyrocketed in value since the official close, closure of Don Post Studios in 2012. But uh, what a great thing this is, I think. If you can find one, pick it up and add it to the Star Wars collection. Whether you want to be Anakin or not, put it on some other head. You know anybody could wear one of these. The amazingly cool Don Post Studios 1999 pod racer helmet. Not too many of them made because once it was found that the movie was not going to be as popular as everybody thought, uh, I think they didn't, uh, they didn't continue cranking them out in great quantities, but you might still find one.